Hey everyone and welcome to my channel. Today I'll be making individual classic cheesecake, so stay tuned. So to make the base, you're going to need some crackers. I'm going to put my crackers in my food processor. I'm going to turn it on until they're all processed and give me like a crumb mixture. Now I'm going to add some melted butter and continue mixing it with the crumbs mixture. Just like that. And the final product of the base should look like wet sand. Now the base is ready to be divided in the ramekins. Here I have four ramekins and I lined each one with some parchment paper so that it gets out easily at the end. And this recipe makes four individual cheesecakes and you can find all the ingredients and the measurements in the description box down below. So now I'm dividing the crumb mixture equally into the four ramekins. And using the back of the spoon, just press it like that so that it's even. And put them in a preheated oven for about 10 minutes. Now let's move on to the cheese mixture. So in the same food processor, put some cream cheese. And of course it must be at room temperature. So cream it a little bit. And then add the rest of the ingredients. Here I have some sour cream, sugar, some heavy cream, a pinch of salt, and now cream these ingredients all together. And of course, don't forget to scrape the edges of the food processor. Now add in one egg, some vanilla extract, and some flour and mix everything together until the ingredients are well combined. Now start dividing the cheese mixture in your four ramekins. Divide it equally just like that and of course make sure that your oven is preheated at 350 degrees Fahrenheit and place your ramekins in the oven for about 25 to 30 minutes. And this is how they look like when they're out of the oven. And if you have some cracks on the top, that's normal, don't worry. It's totally normal to have some cracks when you're making a cheesecake. Let it cool for 10 minutes. So using a knife, separate the edges of the cheesecake from the ramekins. And using a small plate, flip it carefully, just like that. And it's out easily because we put the parchment paper at the beginning. So continue doing the same with the rest of the ramekins. And now I'm done with the four. So for the final layer, I'm just using some strawberry jam. And I'm gonna put about like one tablespoon on each one. Look at the color, it's really nice. Smear the jam over the cheesecake. I'm gonna do the other one too. And now it's ready to serve. It's creamy, it's sweet, it's delicious. I really hope that you try it at home. So if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and check out my other videos. And of course, don't forget to follow me on social media. Until next time, bye!